Hey Google. What's up guys and welcome to Predications Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip you're learning how to make Google Assistant read articles for you. Now Google Assistant can read articles for you as long as you've set it up. The first thing you need to do is of course set up Google Assistant of course with the Hey Google hotword and then from there you can make Google Assistant read articles for you. So go to the Google app. If you're on Android, simply tap on more in the bottom right corner and then go to settings. And on the settings page, go to voice and then go to voice match and Google Assistant will take you through a couple of steps to try and set up uh, voice recognition for you. Now once that's done and uh, Google Assistant is set up, you can simply open any article in any browser. For instance, I've opened this one in Chrome and all I need to do now is say, hey Google, read this for me. All right. From Web Pro Education. And it's going to open a new uh, sort of special browser with playback options and it's gonna start reading for you. How to check your Fooliza limit. You can only Fooliza as much as your limit allows you to. Every customer has a different limit depending on their credit worthiness and it changes over time. You can check your current Fooliza limit to know how much you can get away with when you wanna use the overdraft service. Before you can check your limit, you need to have enrolled to the service. The easiest method to check Fooliza limit is via the USS. So I'm just gonna pause real quick. And while it plays, you of course have the option to increase the speed at which it plays. Defool is a code. Simply dial asterisk 234 hash to bring up the M-Pesa menu. In the menu, select zero. Fooliza M-Pesa and from the Fooliza menu, select one. Check my limit. You should receive a text message shortly from M-Pesa. Or to reduce the speed at which it reads. Telling you what your Fooliza limit is. Via my Safari com app. And you have the My Safari Com app. You can use it to check Fooly's a limit. Launch the app and tap on the MP. And of course, you can go back. Or you can tap on this to go back or to skip forward. You have all these options at your disposal. And then at the top right corner where the three dots in that menu there, if you tap that, you get a few more options. So the first option is to change your read aloud voice, which basically changes the voice at which it reads. Here are the voices you can pick for reading out your web pages. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. Here are the voices you can pick for reading out your web pages. And then of course you can choose whether you want the text sync on, which is this selection as it reads. And then you can also make Google Assistant read to you in a different language. For instance, by default, it's reading in English, but I can have this uh, read to me in, let's say, French. So, I play. Vous devriez recevoir sous peu un SMS de MPESA vous indiquant quelle est votre limite Fuliza. Via l'application MySafari.com. Dans vous avez l'application MySafari. And I'll have Google Assistant read to me the article in French. So that's basically how to make Google Assistant read articles for you. And you can also do this on your iPhone by setting up Google Assistant in the Google app. So you first of all need to download the Google app on your iPhone. If you don't have one, sign in with your Google account, set up voice match, and then you can ask Google Assistant to read articles for you. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris. And I'll talk to you guys soon.